Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews and thanks for joining me once again. Well, it's been a while since we've heard anything about what the next version of the Galaxy Watch is going to look like. And unfortunately, I don't have any new information to add here other than it's rumored to have the model number SMR840. What I wanted to do instead for this video is discuss with you guys what my top features and upgrades would be for the Galaxy Watch 2. Although I am also very curious to hear what you guys would like to see in it in order to make it a worthwhile purchase for you. And I was also hoping that we might hear something from Samsung about a new smartwatch at the upcoming Samsung Unpacked event on February 11th, but it appears the devices that will be showcased here are going to be the S11 smartphone as well as the Galaxy Fold 2. However, I'm still going to tune into the live stream next month to see if any information or hints are released in terms of smartwatches. Now it's no surprise that Samsung has spent considerable time and money on developing and promoting its bezel-less Galaxy Active models, especially since you can see we're already on version number 2 of the Active, so it's going to be very interesting to see what direction the Galaxy Watch takes going forward, but there are a few things I would like to see make it into the next version, so let's jump right into my top features and upgrades for the Galaxy Watch 2. Alright, my number one upgrade that I would like to see is for the internal storage capacity. There has not been, believe it or not, an improvement here since the very first Samsung smartwatch which was released back in 2013, which is really mind blowing in itself because watch face design, functionality, and the software to develop them has improved dramatically over the years, particularly when you think about animated watch faces. So the fact that we still only have four gigabytes of storage really doesn't cut it anymore with those advanced faces out there that you can download in the app store. Personally, I think at a minimum, the standard should be six gigabytes, or maybe Samsung could even think about offering the option of purchasing a four gigabyte model with a six or eight gigabyte version as a premium. Whatever they decide to do, I hope that we're gonna see more storage in the next Galaxy Watch because we're well overdue when it comes to storage capacity. Okay, another area that I'd like to see improvements in is battery life. Now granted, there is a correlation between the size of the battery and the physical case size of the smartwatch, with of course the larger 46mm version of the Galaxy Watch getting the best battery performance, but I think additional improvements and efficiencies can be found in what and how much the Tizen operating system uses, and that would help offset requiring a larger physical battery. I know that when I first bought my Gear S3, I was easily enjoying 4 plus days of battery life, but as as soon as they started to release the Galaxy Watch and all the subsequent Tizen software updates after that, the performance suffered and I lost on average a full day of usage. Anyways, I'm really hoping that through software improvements and processing efficiencies, we can get back to a minimum of four to five days of battery life, especially if Samsung is dedicated in supporting developers create more power hungry apps and watch faces. Now this next piece isn't really an upgrade, but more of a question to all of you. And that is, what are your thoughts of a bezel-less Galaxy Watch? Now Samsung started this trend with the Galaxy Active series, and although I wasn't a huge fan of the original Galaxy Active Watch, I do absolutely love the Active 2 in the 44mm version. The virtual bezel feels great, it's very responsive, it's easy to use, and through software updates that virtual bezel has also been made available to the original Active Watch. So do you guys think Samsung is going to stay with a mechanical bezel for the Galaxy Watch 2, or do you think they're going to stick with a virtual bezel for all new smartwatches they release going forward? Alright, here is one area that definitely could see an improvement. Bixby functionality and the capabilities of Bixby has really been lacking and there were times that I thought that Samsung might even put Bixby out of its misery, but Samsung is continuing to invest in this voice assistant and at least try to have it compete with its rivals Apple Siri and Google Assistant. There's even been some discussions around just adopting the Google Assistant because then you would be able to connect well with other assistant and powered devices in the home, including many smart home gadgets. However, Samsung probably won't go with the Google Assistant unless it also considers a move to the Google operating system, which in itself would open up a world of near limitless apps available, 
But on the same note, I don't think that they're going to be ditching the Tizen operating system anytime either. Now, last year, a developer did release an app for the Galaxy Watch, which would enable Google Assistant on the watch, but it was cumbersome to install and many users complained about it not working at all. And because it's not a native app on the Tizen operating system, you also run into compatibility issues when an update is released for Tizen. So although it is a workaround, it's really a band-aid alternative and should not be considered a long-term solution. So let's just hope that Bixby improves because thus far it's considered a poor man's Siri and at best a frustrating experience overall. All right guys, those are my top upgrades or improvements that I would like to see in the next version of the Galaxy Watch. But I also expect that we'll see some additional improvements in terms of activity and fitness tracking, perhaps a slimmer and sleeker profile for the case and overall design. And I also expect to see improvements to the heart rate monitors and other sensors that are used to track our stress levels and sleep patterns. I'll keep you guys posted on when more rumors start to come out, but I expect that we'll start to hear more from Samsung in the next couple of months or as possibly as early as the Samsung Impact event next month. And let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see in the next version of the Galaxy Watch. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in a future video. Until then, take care. Thanks again for watching our review and if you liked it then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends because with your support it really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways and of course fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.